Yeah, my password's a pain to type. That's a, a really big hint, right? You gave the whole thing away, basically. Alright. Let's do this for a while, then. Category switch that over. Okay. A bit more. I'm just getting through the main story so I can actually experience the game. What is the game? I'm not even sure. It was kind of whim to revisit this. Um... What? Whatever, whatever. I, I I can stay on this one in a... Uh, whatever place I'm in right now. Garugamesh. Until, like, later on when I want to uh, make a free company and stuff, I guess. A lethal company. So, uh, I heard that a lethal company guy... A uh, company employee got put into Fortnite, apparently. Why? Man, like, I can only imagine the money that the dev got for that. To be fair, the guy's gotta be swimming in money after Lethal Company, like, exploded. So, it's probably just a drop in the bucket for him. But he's- I think he's just, like, a solo dev. He doesn't have, like, a publisher or anything, so that- that guy, he doesn't have to split the money with anyone, I don't think. Like, awesome, right? But, like, I'm jealous. Good for him, seriously. <sighs> okay. So. Um, right, okay, I already accepted this. That's for the gold saucer, and I don't really care right now. If I do Mahjong someday, it's not going to be today. I suppose what I'll probably do is, um, um, hit level, I'm already level 30. Oh, I could, I could go do my, um, my artist quest right now, actually. Huh. That would be nice. Um. Alright, you know what? You know what? Let me go unlock the next dungeon because that's going to be in like two minutes, I think. And then I'll go do my Arcanist quest so I can actually be Scholar. And you know what that means? I get to queue up as Healer and I get to actually queue up, basically, without it taking five minutes. It'll take like five seconds instead. Cool, right? That's part of the reason why I want to play Healer. I like Healer, too. I, I do like Healer. Tank's probably my least favorite role in this game. Like I, guess, like I talked about before, it requires, in my opinion, like, the most knowledge and mastery of the duty that you're queuing for. And, nah. Nah, it, it requires more thinking and paying attention, basically. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it's got the Overwatch queue. It, it's good that you is pretty fun in Overwatch, too. I don't really play much, mind you, but I've got a friend who sometimes drags me into games. And I don't mind now and again. Ana is fun. Ana is my main. Uh, Zen is also fun. As far as tank goes, Sigma. Sigma is king. What am I supposed to be doing here? I guess just search for a clue. I think these guys are too low to bother aggroing me, right? They're like 14 levels below me. Yep. They're too scared. Good. Yeah, I mean, DPS is kind of like the like main character class, right? It makes people feel like they're important because they're the ones doing the most damage. They get to have the most impact on the fight in like a really clear way. And I feel like... I don't know which is more popular between healer and tank, but like with, with healer, I feel like that is like the second in like clear impact. Like you can see like, okay, I saved that person. I healed that person or whatnot. But with tank, it's less of, like, taking damage for someone or, like, putting a shield on them. It's not that kind of thing. It's just, like, standing up there and taking the boss's aggro. So, yes, well, you are saving the party because they will, like, insta-die if the boss touches them instead of you, typically. Um, it still doesn't feel the same, right? Like, as long as you're doing your job, everything is going to look the same pretty much. Nine out of ten times. I'm not really saying it's a problem. I, I don't really know if it is. I mean... It needs more DPSs to queue up um, than tanks and healers, like on purpose for that. Cat's making noise. Um, so that helps balance it out a little bit, at least. I think it's fine. But I sure as hell don't plan on designing an MMO anytime in the future. Which would be nice if the game had some music right about now. That might might be cool. So I don't have to put my own on. Which I could, even though Square Enix tells you not to. I, I don't think they're going to come bother me. 
And technically, it says to not replace the in-game music by playing other music over it. Well, actually, its, it's wording is do not replace the game's music with your own. But you know what? I could just add it on top. I could just turn the music down to one. Just play my music as an addition. Fun, fun workarounds. Uh, s sometimes being a rules lawyer is good. If it's a corporation, it's good. If it's friends, try to hold back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's weird, right? I, I thought to Google, like, it's stuff you should know before streaming Final Fantasy XIV is the case, because I figured maybe it's one of those games. Because big companies like Squeenix can be kind of strange. I, I don't think they enforce it. I bet they probably never enforced it. I think it's just one of those things. It's like how you're not supposed to play third-party music on their in-game instruments. But I've never heard of anyone getting in trouble for playing Megalovania. People do it. It's just to cover their ass. So I think it's the same kind of thing, probably. Okay, they want me to wear Garbo clothes. I will wear Garbo clothes. Yep. I don't know why they have you do these things. I don't know. They really like making you do strange things in this game sometimes. I have to dress up. The main story quest mostly just feels like padding, honestly, besides like the actual duty stuff. Um, I guess like there's... Like, there's some, like, some instance fights stuff, sure, I guess, but... They're never anything compared to the duties. But... You know, it'd be like too much dev work to have literally the entire game be duties and like... I don't know. I wouldn't even mind if there were just more quests like, hey, go kill 10 of this monster or something like that, or go kill this monster until you get 5 of his drops, or like, go mine this thing. Personally, I'd rather they be something that has like actual impact, like you're doing damage or you're harvesting something, or crafting something, somehow, instead of just like, I'm putting on a shirt and pants and going talk and talking to these people, or like, I'm delivering a letter to someone that's 10 feet away because these NPCs don't want to move. Things like that. It's it's all just busy work, it feels like, you know? It really does. I think the last one's probably inside here. Oh, yes, good. I swear last time I did this, I had a hard time finding one. I think it was probably the guy up there, though. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of silly. They just give you the clothes, and, like, you just gotta equip them. And I think after that, I'm done with them. And if I'm not, like, they'll, they'll give me another copy later. <clears throat> well, I'll keep them for another minute or two. Where is Thancred? Oh. I Yeah, I have to keep them on. It says, speak to Thancred while still wearing them. Can we do some kind of stealth mission or something here? I don't know. Honestly, not sure. Jeez. So, let's see. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I think tomorrow is... I know, yeah, yeah, tomorrow is Umi Neko and Final Fantasy XIV, come to think of it, okay. Gotta like think about an SV schedule. Monday, I want to do Pika Yune Dreams, and I don't know what else. Now I'm realizing, like, optimally, I gotta open my door back up so the cast can come in. Um, so, I'm realizing, like, since I'm, I'd like to try new games on stream sometimes, like Picky Night Dreams. It would have been good if I could have played it two days in a row. Or like two two stream days in a row, not like two day days in a row, you know what I mean? Um, so what I should do is I should try new games out at the end of the week. Uh, uh, out, yeah, like out at the end of the week sometimes. So if I really like them, I can immediately slot them in at the start of the next stream week, which is cool. Because that way I don't have to like wait almost a week to play Picky Night Dreams again and probably... I would assume they've just finished off the second stream, honestly. I don't know. I feel like I came pretty close. How many phases can there be to that fight, right? I guess there's a bit more story to get, but it's probably not going to take too many more runs to get that. It would take a lot of runs to get the whole skill tree, but I, I don't know if that's something you need to do or not. I mean, obviously I don't need to, but like, I don't know how much you're expected to fill before beating the game. Hard to say. Again, it's weird going into that kind of game um, as someone with some Danmaku pro uh, progress. They... Probably don't expect to have that much no damage run. It wouldn't be impossible in a game like this. I feel like generally the fights aren't really bad at all. It's you just got to be consistent. There's no like single attack that I can't dodge. 
uh, besides that one that killed me in the very last run last time that I'm not sure what I was supposed to do about. Um, but I, I didn't really get to process it, and I went into it with one hit, so yeah, that was just kind of tragic, really. There's a, there's a couple kind of tricky ones, like in the third and fourth fights, but fights one and two are essentially free, pretty much. Uh, oh, I have to go back to the wall. Oh, man. Oh, man. Walking sands. Oh, lame. Okay, it's fine. Wait, actually, I'm thinking... No, I, I did the third dungeon last time. I already did it. Okay, well, it's fine. When I unlock the next duty um, is when I'll, I'll go do it. Just moving my mic cable over there. Um, yeah, so when I unlock the next duty that I can, like, queue for anytime I want, I'll go do the um the, the class quests first, the, the job quests. I think what it is is, like, that your starting one is called a class, and I think then you spec into a job. I, I think that's the case. I honestly forget. It doesn't matter. I don't... Do, do, do people care about that terminology? I feel like maybe they don't. Maybe if I'm talking to, like, some fool on Final Fantasy XIV nerd, they'll be like, Ahem, excuse me. They're called occupations. But I, I don't think most people really care at all. Just like Game Facts, right? Just like Game Facts. So yeah, well, what else this week? Um, so I'll do Picky Unite Dreams, um, Tuesday on day one. Um, Saturday, I'll do um Kyrania Book Two, and something else. Sunday, I'll do JTD and something else. Um, so that leaves Thursday open as well as all the second slots. I'm thinking the second slots, like, I can slot in some Umineko, some Final Fantasy XIV, like, some of the long-term things like that, you know? Really good idea. Um, and I guess, maybe in addition, um, like I was saying, it's good to try new games at the end of the week, so I could, like, put them in at the start of next week if I want. So, I have a bunch of other games I bought recently in the sale. I'm thinking maybe Saturday I'll do Animal Well. And Sunday, I should be writing this down, by the way. Hold on a second here. Uh, Tuesday, Big Big Unite Dreams, plus question mark. Thursday, uh, I've forgotten. I'll come back to that. Saturday, Kyrandia 2, plus Animal Well. Sunday, uh, JTD, plus, um, Here's the thing though, I do need to like leave space for me neck on Final Fantasy. Um I, I would like slot in uh what is it called? Like Balantro, that like poker roguelike. That's kind of what I'd like to do. I'll put it in there tentatively. Um I so this one remind me what what did I say I would do Thursday? I did not figure that out yet. I I've already forgotten entirely. Uh Wait, that, that, what, why, did, why did I walk into this building? That, this is not the Waking Sands. Eh? Man, I, I really can't walk and talk at the same time anymore. I swear I didn't used to be like this. There, there's something wrong with me. Um. Well, I want to do some Umineko and Final Fantasy XIV this week, so I guess if I do it like that, though, it means I can't do either on the weekend. So let's see. You know that... I really, the bad thing about playing Final Fantasy like this is that it's a subscription based game. And the less I play it, the more money I'm paying for nothing. I mean, granted, it's still in the pre sub right now, of course, but. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to use that as a reason to like play it four times a week. You know? I don't just want to be on the full Final Fantasy 14 grind. That's kind of goofy. Okay. I think I can switch back to my actual clothes now, by the way. Um, next time I'm at a shop, I'll just get rid of- Oops, that's- that's the wrong thing. It's the top and the bottoms here. Give me back my cookie skirt, please. Okay. Um... Church of Memory is failing me. Did I- did I maybe not say anything? I bought Roguelike Studio too. Like, I have a lot of games I want to, like, try out. <clears throat> And some stuff I want to revisit, like, um, 
could do another dungeon crawl stone soup session next week, but I don't know for sure how badly I want to. I, I did kind of tell someone I might though, so I feel bad if I don't actually do it, I guess. Hold on, I'm going to... Uh, I, I don't know. Hold on, I'm just going to bring this up. Uh, central thin on... Oh, back there. Okay. Work me there, please. Oh, hey, it gave me my million gil. <laughs> oh, right, I hit level 30 last time. I looked down and I'm like, oh, I wonder how much this 200 gil is eating into my pocket. Um, it's not. <laughs> I, I got the million gil. It just unceremoniously, the game, I don't think it told me. I, I bet it probably put a message in chat. But like, who's looking down there? No one. No one is looking down there. You think I play this game to chat? You think I play this game to see like when a Borass drops there? Okay, well, sometimes I do. I don't know, but still. Hey, Marsha. I, I like it. I like playing Law Fells personally. Last time I played the game with a friend though, he was like, the fuck you doing playing Lollafell? Play play a human, make, make yourself. So I was like, okay. And I made a human that looked kind of like me, but it just didn't feel the same, you know? Yeah, I, I think I probably got the million at the end of the last stream because I hit level 30 last stream by the looks of it. Actually, I know I did, um, but I just didn't notice. I forgot to even think about it. I was too... Um... I was too focused on other things, I guess. I don't know. I was getting pretty tired at the end of last stream anyway, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's a level 30 thing. Um, it's because I'm playing on like an unpopulated server. It's an incentive to play on the server, essentially. Like, hey, you get a huge EXP boost up to level 80, and you get a million gil for reaching level 30, so come play here instead of on the popular one. Uh, it is... a cat that doubles as a pillow. Juniper is extremely soft. Oh. Uh, were you able to hear that? I don't know if the, the mic picked that up or not. Agdal or something. She's got beautiful blue eyes. Oh, hey, it's... Oh yeah, apparently the Fall Guys event is actually going on right now. I, I should I should do that before like a, oh oh Am I blessed? Come on. Come on. I'm blessed. I love her so. Even though she does smell a little bit like piss right now. You know, the uh, the long-haired cats have a bit of a harder time cleaning themselves. But I think living with so many cats my entire life has dulled my nose a little bit to some of it. So, it's okay, isn't it? It has to be. Alright, um, you want me to deliver this to... Guess where? The Waking Sands. <laughs> Here, here's Waking Sands Visit 3. It's been like, what, two quests? They, they, they sent me straight to that guy and straight back. Y you know you know this game has something called Moogle Mail? You know there, there's mail in this universe, right? You know. You, 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 you see this guy over here? You, you know what you can use him for? You know what his job is? You know what can go in that bag? Okay, well... Maybe, maybe they're not playing on their home world. Maybe that's why. Never mind. I've invalidated everything. Google Mail is only for players, apparently. She, she's she's getting dangerously close to playing with the keyboard now. But only dangerously close, not quite. She's almost laying on it. But yeah, um... I think the next thing we do might be Ifri, finally. So that'll be a nice thing to like, queue up for as healer. Ifri's kind of like one of the boring fights, honestly, as far as primals go. Because he's the first one. But after Ifri, they only get better and better. Like, for all the stuff that A Realm Reborn, which is the name of the base game for anyone not familiar, uh, doesn't do that well. It has some really, really nice boss fights and some really, really nice music. 
frankly, uh, out of what I've heard of the game's music, all the best stuff that I like is in A Realm Reborn. Honestly, it's probably more interesting if I just leave the camera on her for now. Do let me know if I'm wrong, but... Not a bad idea, is it, honestly? He's almost blocking my hotbar, but not quite. But yeah, I don't think there's much purpose going back to my homeworld right now. You know, I don't need the Moogle Mail. And like I said, when I like, want to open up a free company, which I think costs a lot of money, but I have a lot of money now. Um... I, uh, I, I can just go back there then. Easy peasy, right? No prob- no problem. Long loading screen, though. Surprisingly. Very fruitful. You have your dagger that I can't even see the stats of now. Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought- I, didn't, I hit escape to, like, skip a cutscene, but there wasn't a cutscene. Not this time. Oh, yep, yep, it's E3. Okay, good. Alright. Camp driver, and let me just go unlock this then. Uh, am I able to warp out from here? Or do I have to, like, leave manually? I'm not sure. Oh, I can just warp. I don't have to go outside first. Good. Like any cat, Junie can sleep anywhere, pretty much. And she does. Yep, so most of the, like, main antagonist forces in this game. So most of the, like, the boss fights that you queue up for that are just boss fights without dungeons. Um, yeah. Are, like, summons, like, A Realm Reborn, you know, spoilers. I don't think anyone really cares about spoilers. A Realm Reborn's been out for a long time. Has, like, Ifrit, Shiva, Ram, Rama, um, Leviathan. Uh, it's got Alexander, but Alexander is an actual raid. It's got Bahamut, which is an actual raid. Raids are essentially just, um, okay, well, it can be hard to sum up exactly what a raid is. Let's just say a dungeon with more people, and it's shorter, and sometimes there's a, like, a really big boss fight or a really small boss fight. They, 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 they can vary a lot. Cacti guy? Uh, I have not seen, well, there, there are cactars, but there's no jumbo cactar raid to my knowledge, which is a missed opportunity. There, there's a lot of, I think I, do I have to go in there? Oh, yeah. Why would I come up here? Uh, he's thinking of uh, Jumbo Cactar, which is from, uh, I think, Final Fantasy VIII. It's like a gigantic cactar. Like, the size of the screen. That does, like, uh, 10,000 needles instead of 1,000 needles. Pretty iconic. Pretty iconic. But how do I know where the Invisible City is? Now, I know for a fact that there are some raids in, like, the later expansions I haven't seen that also are, like, summons that are cool ones. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Eden from Final Fantasy VIII is in there, which is really cool because Eden is just, the, like, this secret ultimate summon in VIII. I don't know if Doom Train is in here, but I really hope Doom Train is in here because it, it'd just be kind of funny if Doom Train were in here, right? Uh, there is... A raid where you fight Kefka. I'm not kidding. You fight Kefka in Final Fantasy VI guy. Um, I want to say one of the newer expansions had a bunch of Final Fantasy IV stuff, so I'd be surprised if there's like Golbez or something. I don't really know. I've only played through about, I guess, half the content, really. If you consider like A Realm Reborn to be the same size as the others, which in terms of like the trials, I guess it roughly is. I don't know. Yep, yep, there is indeed tactics stuff. There's like an entire set of tactics raids. Yep. Uh, I don't remember. I, I have done them once, only once, through to the end. Just to like finish them once. I think they might have actually been mandatory at a certain point in uh, Heaven's Order Stormblood. I can't recall. I don't remember who you fight, but if you listed off like some names of like the big summony guys, the like, uh, whatever they are, like the Zodiac thingies, I might be able to say, yeah. It, it's that one. I might be able to. It was like a big name, but it was a big name that I forgot. <laughs> Let's be real. There's a lot of weird names in Final Fantasy, and Tactics is kind of like the exact same in that sense. So I do remember that Tactics, uh, Zodiac, 
I, I, I think it was Zodiac. Yeah, I, I think that's right. <laughs> I think it's Zodiac. So look at this guy. Uh, I remember Tactics, I think, is one of the ones that has really weird raid mechanics. Like, shit would stand in your correct prime number or some weird shit. I, I don't even know. I didn't even know what it was. And I didn't understand it. And we barely made it through that fight. Um, but, I mean, like, in a raid, depending on... Like, if it's not a high difficulty one, you might be okay not understanding things because there's, like, a lot of other people there. Uh, typical raids have 24 people. Three groups of eight. Like, that all form different parties and sometimes fight the same boss. Sometimes fight different bosses. Uh, actually, my class summons Carbuncle. For now, at least. I think it'll summon fairies later, but... Uh, yeah, Garbuncle is... Uh, maybe I should actually summon it. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, that, that that's what you mean. Of course, like, why haven't I summoned him? Um, because he's... He's not there when I log in. The fucking arithmetic job. Mathematician. Some of the tactics games had really funny stuff. The... The portable ones are really fun, honestly. I, I like them quite a lot. I guess I'm supposed to kill this big guy in the middle. But I guess whatever. We'll kill the other ones first then. But yeah, I have no idea how mechanics like that work. And I, I've already talked about game design and like clarity and like how are you supposed to know and whatnot. And I'm not going to get back into it again today. Like, like I said, I'm going to try not to complain too much. Let's, let's actually use our mechanics and stuff here. Quote unquote mechanics. But I'll, I'll probably really start like actually playing the class properly once I've got it like um into scholar but to be fair it's gonna matter unless that I DPS then because well I'm gonna be a healer so it's just taking a while very, very exciting again like this this is not where the high point of the game is and no I'm not one of the people who's like oh stick around it gets better after a realm of war and maybe it does maybe it doesn't I don't know I think all the like uh, viewable content in Realm Reborn is still really cool, too. Yeah, honestly, uh, Rabbit and Steel does a really good job. Rabbit and Steel communicates everything clearly. Uh, like, like I've said when we've been playing together, I think sometimes there's a bit too much stuff on screen, especially the, like, cleaves. But I think, besides that, it is really good. Oh, and it, it does seem like Realm Reborn has updated some stuff. Um, last time I played, I did, uh, Tumtar Deepcroft. And the mini boss had a new move or two, and it had. Uh, okay. It had, like, new icons that, like, showed you, like, oh, you should stack on top of the tank to, like, help split their damage. I think there was something else it had. So, I think it's maybe more clear, which is great. Rabbit and Steel. It was probably the final push, honestly, yeah. Um, I've been contemplating the idea for a little while, but. Oh, am I not able to get out of here? Hold on. Can, can I not teleport out of here? I wanna... I want to... Oh, God. I, I don't... I need to use the map. Hold on. Uh, I, I don't know if it lets me teleport out, out or not. Uh, loops, uh, yeah, I can just teleport. I can just leave this, like, little prison room. I don't actually need to be here at all. You can just queue up for free, so it's totally irrelevant, honestly. Yeah, I imagine it's, it's gonna get a lot of people into it. I hope that they actually, like, add a lot more content to Rabbit and Steel. And I don't just mean, like, playable classes, I mean actual bosses, because... Like, yeah, the classes are cool and all. Um, I think so far my favorite is probably Spell Sword. But I haven't tried all of them out quite yet. Um, by the way, I, I, I need to just warp, I don't know why I'm walking over here. But for me, like... I need to have more stuff to do in a run, or like, more options for stuff to fight or whatever. I don't really just want to keep playing through the same challenges with different classes. It's not really that fun. Uh... Uh... Oh, it's, it's on the lower level. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I've been, I've been considering Final Fantasy XIV for a while because I hear like the streaming community is kind of supportive and I like the game and it's kind of like a nice, I'm not going to quite say mindless, but it's it's like an easy thing to kind of just chill out and play. But it does have some really nice high points with the raids and all that stuff. 
and it gives me a chance to like maybe understand the raids and stuff a bit better because like I said I'm a big babby about that and I'd like to maybe get over that like part of my like mind block I guess you could say wait okay so I'm going up here I haven't been up there before okay uh all right let's go up here and just walk from there I guess <clears throat> weird they're sending me somewhere I haven't been oh but you know why you know why it's because the massive exp boost um, means that I am 13 levels ahead of the main story. Level 20 is what you need to be minimum for this. I'm level 33. Uh, funny enough. I don't know how big of an EXP boost this is, uh, but it's big, I guess. It's clearly quite large. Quite in charge. So current to-do list is, um, go do the class quest, the job quest, rather. Learn Scholar. Fight Ifrit. And after that, um, see, I forget if it's level based or if you have to get to a certain point in the main story, but I want to get a mount, just like basic ass chokeable. I'd like to do that if possible because it makes it faster to get around. Also, special guest, Avery. Featuring second cat. Are you going to lay down too? I, I never have two cats lay down on my desk, actually. I've had up to like five or six cats sleeping on the bed before. Three or four is pretty common, actually. Hey. What do you want? You got gunk near your eyes again, Hana. Let's get those boogies out. Boogies. You can be trouble. We'll get the boots later. I don't know if she's gonna stay or not. <clears throat> I can't see Discord from here, but that's okay. I have notifications I haven't read anyway, so it just means I would have more that I haven't read. Oh, hey, please don't open up the curtains. I'll, I'll, I'll burn in the sun, okay? It's just like, a, it's like so bright on the stream, it's like pure white on the camera, I don't really like having all the- Hey! Okay, fine. I guess I only need one hand to play the game right now anyway, I'm just running, so sure. I'm gonna go to Meme Runes training, Trading Post. This is their stream. <laughs> it really is. Oh. Tension, tension. Uh, hold on. Uh, where's the... Oh, right. The warp on this map is over on the other side of the lake. You have to take a boat to get over there. That's fine. I'll grab it while I'm here in a sec. After I do this, I guess. Uh, wait. Speak where? Oh, just back over here? Okay. Why do I have to talk to this guy? I say, um, not having read the actual instructions of the quest, really. Okay. Big baby. She's actually just a little baby. A little princess child. Hi. Yeah, you really do have some bad eye boogies today, hon. Can we please get those? I'm trying to get them, hon. No, they're stuck in there. I have to get at those with a wet paper towel or something, I guess. Sorry, hon. Don't mean to poke at your eyes. I don't like doing it more than you like having me do it. Uh, yes. Here we go. Tanga Tonga. It's a panga. Leave my trail mix alone. We're not going to revisit that scenario. Come on, hon. Come on. Uh, so we need to find papers. I fail to see how this makes me a better organist, but okay. Again, that's probably because I didn't read, <laughs> to be honest. I wonder what the skeleton is. Proto Leviathan, maybe? I think it's actually bigger than Leviathan. That's thicker, at least. 
I want to say. It is nice being overleveled here because stuff doesn't even really bother me. It just doesn't care. Uh, I don't know if I can be back if I go down there, so let me go get this one over here first. <clears throat> so yeah, give me like 20 minutes or so and we're gonna... Oh, okay. Alright, so the level threshold must be 10, so... Because I'm only 9 above, they still fight. That's a shame. Oh, well. Oh. Oh. She's presenting the belly. That's a sign of trust, you know. It's a sign that she loves me. One-handed, you know, moving Final Fantasy. Look at this guy, he's a real professional. He knows exactly what he's doing. Good girl. Oh. Maybe you can't tell, but she, she, she's grabbing my arm. She's, she, she's holding onto my hand. I, I gotta take that back, honey. I'm so sorry. I need at least one hand, like, on the mouse to play the game, and I'm not gonna keep moving my left hand over there. I'm not quite that dexterous. It's it's weird. Um, my, my mic isn't supposed to work without, like, this switch for the ghost power thing on, but... Recently, and only recently, I've noticed that it's still... Uh, hold on. Um... Oh. Uh, as, as I was saying, I've noticed that it still shows up in OBS. I don't know if it sounds different even with the switch off. It's strange. Um... Oh, wait a second. I think I figured it out. I think the back port must have not provided enough power or something because it's plugged into a different port now as of a couple weeks ago it's plugged up into the front port up on the very top of the pc that must be it <clears throat> because the weird thing is when i initially bought this mic it said it doesn't need like the, the phantom power thing i don't even really know what phantom power is I, I don't know what it is why you need it at all no idea um but then I did need it, even though it told me I didn't. Like, it wouldn't work without the switch on, but maybe that's because it wasn't getting enough power from there? I, I don't really know. Interesting. Oh, am I gonna... Oh, shit. Okay, I'm good. I'm apparently just fine. Uh, stop, 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 stop. No. Okay, at least the dumb-looking spiders won't attack me. Uh, those guys won't either. They're, they're 10 bullet mates. Okay. June, you're blocking half my screen now, hon. Come on. <clears throat> um, my, my mic sounds the same as usual, right? It doesn't sound different as opposed to, like, a couple weeks ago. I wonder if it does. Um, I'll have to go and, like, check that later. Now, I, I don't think so, because... I think it sounded the same when I was, like, editing VODs. Like, I, I got that clip that I posted on Twitter the other day. I think it was the same. I don't know. Weird. Uh, uh, okay, June, I, I need to see. I need to see. Come on, home. Sorry. Oh, I see. Okay, I have to dance in front of the box. Okay. How did I not know that? You danced partly for the old wooden box. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay. Puzzle solved, I guess. Should have played Dancer. I've actually played Dancer in this game. It's it's pretty fun. Um, it's it's very mobile. I don't think any of its skills require that you stand still, so you can keep like doing little AOEs on stuff as you move around. I why why, why are you attacking me? Uh, maybe maybe there's some enemies that just always attack you. I don't know. No idea. Um, let's see. I need to actually do this and maybe. Or won't pull it up in a second, I suppose. This is kind of annoying. Too many things. At least I have heals. <clears throat> if anything, at least I have heals. Right, he uses ether flow. I don't like this thing's like battle flow. This like classes flow. I hope that scholar is a bit different. 
typically it's like a pretty heavy like redo to the kit i think right i hope so okay there we go um we still in combat i mean i already opened the box slugs came out or, or not i guess the slugs were just coincidence i don't know it doesn't actually really say uh, now I have to go to dance for someone else. What a day. What a day it's been. So I got like a jaw thing. I got like here. Um, I like crack it sometimes. It's stiff but weird. You can make really loud cracking sounds sometimes. So if you ever see me like do a weird mouth thing on stream. It's because of my jaw. Oh. Guess we're not gonna go that way. Uh, that is... It, it's, it's just a hunt thing, but it's... I, I don't think it's actually gonna aggro to me. G giant Tonberry, that's all. I've never seen that one. It's, uh... It's part of, like, another thing. So you have, like, these hunts, but you have, like... Something, I think it's called, like, elite hunts. That you, like... Check for, and like, a message board kind of thing in-game. And if you kill it, well, it spawns, like, like that guy, Miradrosh, as well. You get like rewards, but otherwise you get jack shit for killing them. So you have to like check which one is actually active for like that day or week or whatever and go kill it. And sometimes it's not there, you gotta wait for it to spawn. They spawn in like a cycle every few hours or something like that. It's, it's one of those silly things, you know. Alright, jackass, here I go. I danced. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait for the whole animation, I guess. Junie. Yeah, so we that specific dance, by the way. Don't you dare try the the cactar dance. I'm sure it wouldn't work. <clears throat> okay. Um you want me to go back to the limb set, but before I do that before I do that. Where, where's where's the fairy person? Um Oh it's you. Um I wanna run over here real quick. Yes. And grab the actual warp to this place, so we have it for later on, of course. Oh yeah, if you press middle mouse click, it auto runs you forward, which is kind of cool, see? Look, mono hands. Check something on Discord real quick. Alright, nothing yet. I was waiting for a response back from someone regarding, um... I'm, uh, middle manning as a commission. Uh, middle manning for a commission, rather. Are you playing with my phone again? No, okay, you're not. I thought I heard you move something around. Not this time, thankfully, no. Um, but yeah, that, that's something I do sometimes. If people want to commission something from like a Japanese artist or musician, I can do the communicating for you if you ever need me to, so give me a heads up. I don't mind. I like being useful. Making connections is always good for everyone, right? It's, uh, it's enabled me to talk to like a couple of people in Japanese that I wouldn't probably spoken to otherwise, so it's cool. A couple of them are kind of my friends anyway, so I like sending people their way whenever I can. Okay. Dog. Back to Limsa. My, uh, my parents got a new dog a little while back. It's uh, crazy. She she gets really excited. Like in the mornings especially, but mom brought her around yesterday and she came to pick me up to bring me out of town. There's someone just uh, sleeping there. Okay. Yep. All right. Sure. Um. It's like jumping all over me, getting mud on me and stuff. Pig in a blanket. Poogie. All right. Now, sir, I don't have anything interesting to say about the dog. I'm more enraptured by the poogie, honestly. Oh, you got it. people actually doing music here today. I don't know what it is though. Uh, the music in this game, just, like, you don't play it yourself, I don't think. Maybe you can? Like, you make a uh, sheet music that you just kind of plug into it and it plays. There's like a bunch of, um, preset ones, but I you can also make your own. Um, there's like websites where you can kind of like, plug in the notes and it'll like make the syntax for you, I think, or something like that. 
Let's say my friend and I did it once or twice before, just for, kind of for fun to see what it's like. But again, don't play anything third party. You get in trouble. Probably wouldn't actually. Again, I don't think they really actually care. They're just covering their butts. So just, just don't become a massive 10,000 viewer streamer and play music on stream, basically, you know? I don't think they care about my, uh, my like, one and a half viewers. The half of viewers asleep, by the way, but, hey, if the wish still counts, then they count. I just gotta get over there. I'm going through here, apparently. It's a fun little walk. My tiny legs could use the exercise, after all. Stubby little guy. So there's gonna be, I think this is the level 25 quest I'm doing, right? Yeah, there's gonna be one more and then I think there's gonna be another one to actually like promote to the job. I think that's a separate thing. I'm not entirely sure though. Usually these things have like their own little plots and stuff and their own little resolutions. Even though like crafting ones do typically, but like, I don't care in the least. I really don't care in the least. I, I just wanna get the stats and stuff and I guess dance for the NPC and whatnot. I'm gonna go get some water real quick. Well, that animation plays. <clears throat> Good. So, you know, I could do cool things with this skill, like buy expensive things, or I could just have enough money for, like, um, all of the cheap things I could ever need, probably. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna take a look at, like, the market in a minute. Um, I forget if you can, like, um, buy ones off the market, or if all of them are non-tradable. I actually don't know. And I might need to get... Right, so... Yeah, like I mentioned before, the chocobo is split between, like, the mount chocobo and the, like, combat partner chocobo. So... Maybe there's nothing stopping me from just getting, like, a regular mount mount now. Not sure. I'll check the market while I'm here in a minute, maybe. After I have something as quest. Oh, oh, here. This is the... No, I took this path before, actually. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. Liar, he's been caught out. Let's see. What else is there on my mind? Well, I gotta go to mow the lawn in a couple hours. Um, traditionally, I would just listen to music while doing it, but, you know, I've heard all my music a lot of times, so... As of uh, this year, I'm, like, listening to stuff on YouTube instead. I was listening to, like, a Diablo 4 critique kind of thing, which, which is okay, but at the same time... Uh, I'll probably find something else to listen to today, because... You know, as much as I don't mind, like... Noise to have on my other monitor or something while I'm doing something on... My my main monitor. At the same time, like... I, I could probably do a little bit better. Oh, I got a penny. Hi, hon. What a rare guest. Alright, uh, sure, whatever. I'll take, I'll take the cool glasses. Hi, sweetie. So, I'll, I'll look around for something. I just recently, um... Put most of my YouTube tabs, well, all of them really. But I opened up a couple more since then in my main window. I put all of them over into... Their own separate Firefox window. Because it was getting out of hand. <clears throat> it was to the point where, like, every non-pinned tab was a YouTube tab, and there were, like, 40 to 50 of them. So, it was pretty bad at that point. I gotta say, it really, really was. So... I'll grab something from there, I guess. It's likely. I have plenty of options. Don't know what yet. <clears throat> Even plenty of options for sure. Okay. Uh, right. I just want to peek over at the market real quick. Assuming I can when I'm not in my own server. I, I think it like factors in all the servers. I don't actually know. Yeah, yeah. Markets, whatever. Um. Housing, no. Minions, no. You might not be able to mine mounts. I forget. 
Airship submersible components, that is not the thing, no. I don't remember. I know that like all the like two-person mounts are cash shop only. You have to get them off the cash shop. It's the only place you can get them from. That's that's how they get you, of course. You might minions. But minions are just minions, as cool as they are. Look, you can buy these like spoiler characters for later. Uh this is like a storm wood. No. Heaven's Ward? I, I think it's a Heaven's Ward, right? I forget. And stuff like Susano and Nakshimi are even later. The, those are Stormblood, but you can see them in here anyway. Spoilers. Let's see. But yeah, I don't see... Oh, this is like Chocobo outfit stuff. I don't know. There's like 20 useless things in there. Yeah, I think a lot of this stuff is kind of worthless. Um, I don't think you can. Okay, that's fine. I'll just have to get one later. I'll get the chocobo, I guess. And I'll have to like get the others from like uh, trials and whatnot. Which is fine. I don't mind that. Like I said, I don't mind like you know just dedicating an afternoon and just doing a trial over and over again until I get what I need. I'm okay with that. Um, let's go from... If I go from here, I can get another warp too. Yeah, let's let's go from here. Let's go from here. Yeah, man, too, but that's okay, I guess. I guess kind of think of it. Um, I could even get on the like a uh, choke up order here, maybe. Or, or do you do you need to like register those? Can I not go somewhere I haven't been? I probably can't actually. Even though it makes no sense in universe at all, I can get why like you can't go to the other crystals because like you're not attuned to them or whatever. Uh, I'll check up the order. Why, why would I want to get a Limsalim instead? Yeah, you have to talk to him once to unlock them. Uh, that that sucks. That sucks. Okay. If you ride them, though, like they actually transport their you transport either like in universe, like you actually watch your character ride the Chocobo. That's kind of neat, I guess. Never really used it though. I right, get yeah, up here. Okay. We'll get some more handy dandy warps on here at the same time, I suppose. But yeah, typically, a lot of trials have mounts. I know, like, Stormblood has, like, all these foxes or whatever I got. Um, I feel like Realm Reborn has some, too. But yeah, it, it does. It definitely does. I remember, like, Grandma had, like, Thunder one. She had, only, like, an Ice one, the obvious stuff. It's back on me now. Benny is over here, though. That's really... Um, but I don't remember what it actually was. It's, like, a wolf or something. I can't recall. It's good to get though. <sighs> Delish. Okay. Um, a little bit more to the north here. Oh, I didn't actually think it would let me jump off there. How pleasantly surprising. Magically delicious. Oh yeah, tigers. Um. Maybe those? Okay, I I think it's both tigers and foxes in Stormblood then, because that makes sense for the tiger, because Byakpo's from Stormblood. But I'm pretty sure I rode, like, a kitsune or something, not a tiger, typically, when I unlocked it. Oh, I think maybe the Realm Reborns ones are, like, uh, Pegasus mounts or something. Like, unicorns or whatever. I think maybe that's what they are. No, Shiva does not turn into mo a motorcycle in this. How tragic. Tiny fluffy baby. Oh, how I love you so. You know, if it weren't for circumstances, Penny wouldn't even be here. Um, essentially how her and her brother came here. Um, my ex-wife, I think... Like, over at her parents, they had, like, a litter of cats that got born or something from, like, a stray nearby. And my ex-wife was like, I want to take a couple of these in and find homes for them. So we took in Penny and Felix. They, they were, like, practically newborns. They were very, very young. I have like, very distinct memories of them, like, climbing up my legs and chopping them up with their tiny kitten claws, which are incredibly sharp. Kids have the sharpest goddamn claws. Seriously. <clears throat> You're really careful around them. They also don't really know how to like hold back when playing. 
kittens will hurt you without knowing, without meaning to. But, um, and uh, maybe after like a month or two, I'm not sure how long, like we actually did find a home for them, but it ended up um, that the guy didn't want them after like quite a few more months. So we took them back and my wife was like, oh, we got to find another home for him. And I'm like, no, no, they came back here at this point. I want to keep them. I, I don't want them to have to keep moving around, you know, finding different homes and stuff. And I feel like it, it it's corny. I feel like it's almost fate at that point, you know? I don't want to, like, let go of them again. I love the Miss Kittens. They were great. And I'm happy that we had them back, and I didn't want to let go of them. I'll just be honest, you know, it's fine. It's fine. That's why it was typically the one to, like, take in cats and convince me that we should keep them. I can't say no to that kind of thing. I love cats. Um... So I would always give in, which is why we had like, I think 10 cats at one point. I forget. We got eight in the house right now. No, we had 11 cats at one point. Good God. She took two with her one. We got divorced and a bit before that, um, unfortunately, one died of cancer. Uh, but yeah, we, we peaked at 11 cats, which is too many cats. I have eight cats right now and that is still too many cats. Please. Yeah, I wasn't about to say. If, if I can give you any advice, you know, don't have eight cats. Maybe stop at four or five. <laughs> you know, unless you really got a lot of money to spare, you don't mind having to like do litter boxes a lot and stuff. I'm gonna get this work first, by the way. And you've got like a big house and plenty of space for them and whatnot. Uh, I, I do have a big enough house, I guess. I wish they had more space. I still need to get around to clearing out my, my ex-wife's room and, like, um, making it into a room for them, essentially, and for, like, storage and stuff. I've been meaning to get to it, but, uh, oops, been, she, she's been moved out for seven months now, and I still have not done it. Um, you know, it's just one of those things I put off. There's a lot of stuff in there, and, like, some of it I'd like to sell off and make a little bit of money off of instead of just trashing it. But... Doing stuff like eBay is such a hassle. I still have some games up on eBay that haven't even sold yet. I put up like last year. A lot of them like shitty shovelware games for like the DS and stuff. Every once in a while, you know, one will go. I've got just a few up there now. But I've got a lot of other games I want to sell for other consoles. I, I'm, I'm just really putting it off, honestly. Captain, hey. Okay, bye. Hey. Is there someone in that room that you're pestering? No? Okay. You just see something outside. He's the horny unfixed cat of the house. Once I've dealt with like my, my teeth issue, um, next on the list is dealing with Captain's balls issue. Um, but I don't like having multiple things like that scheduled at once. Maybe, maybe call me silly, sure, whatever, I'm silly. I just don't want to have too much on my plate, so I'm waiting, honestly. That's all. You know, I feel like this is like a fisherman's guild thing, but it's not, apparently. Uh. Okay, why? Wait, why am I delivering fish? What does this have to do with a level thirty arcanist? Excuse me. Yeah. Grand strategy in someone's downfall. Am I just like? Helping, like, sort out someone's, like, rivalry or something. I have no idea what this shit is about. It's just, like, interpersonal drama. This has nothing to do with becoming a better Arcanist. I, I, I hate these quests. They're really stupid. Like, I should just be able to do it at level 30, honestly. Just just let me spec into my job. Or at least make these quests, like, something tangible. Ugh. Cat hair. To be fair, like, the early quests... I guess they don't want to like spec them too much into like healing or DPS or tanking or whatnot because they're just kind of generic starter ones, pretty much. So they can't really go too heavily and like, oh, you need to heal in this duty. Because Arkansas kind of does both a little bit, I suppose, you know. And uh, I actually don't know like what classes you'd play at the start of the game to like heal up his tank. Like there, there's... Like the fighter monk kind of thing, but I think that's DPS. I don't know. 
Um, that was the. Why did I talk to them? I don't. Okay, I'll do the I'll do the trial guild leaf. Oops. J. J. Okay. Sure. Let's do this too. Uh, what 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 is this? I don't know. It doesn't really tell me. All right. It's fine. Let's do this, I guess, real quick. Let's just kill things. Okay, sure. I can probably do that. Maybe. I don't think I'll die too hard. Just a little freaky looking penguinish birds. I know if I like these things. They're kind of weird looking, honestly. Kind of really weird looking. I'm taking a fair bit of damage, honestly. But once I get, like, Carbuncle's actual thing going in a second, I think it'll be okay. Here we go. Now I should actually do some damage, maybe. Once I kill one, the other will be a lot easier. It's okay. I think they're like slowing me, me and like making my global cooldown slow, which kind of sucks. I don't appreciate that at all. That's what I get for doing a uh, level 34 one that's like above my level. But it's okay. And if any of these fights have three birds, then I might be in trouble. But if there's still just two every time, I'll be okay. Maybe we'll get lucky in one of the fights we'll only have one. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, I'm not here for that. It's okay, they won't aggro unless I piss them off. It's fine. Yeah, okay, come on. Oh, hello there. Found you. I sore. I like to think that these guys are like cataloged in a book somewhere as bloodshore eyesores. And it's not just like a, a colloquial term for them. I'd like to think it's the scientific term. But I'm probably wrong. Uh, wait, no. Why are you guys aggroing? I didn't think you'd actually be aggressive. I'm not like part of your thing. This is so annoying. I don't want to do the fate. No, that thing is going to come over here. Man, there's too many things here. Go. Oh. Wait, it's not even aggroed me. It just keeps walking over my way by chance. Like, go away. Let's do a jellyfish there. Okay, it might be aggroed. I, I can't talk. I'm just gonna run over here. Uh, I think they'll de aggro if I go over this far. It's okay, probably. Fucking annoying. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll kill the Will Wisp. Fine. Arbuncle, please be useful. I I hate Arcanist. Arc. It sucks. Hopefully, Scholar is fun. Otherwise, I'll have to switch off and do something else. Uh. Wait, Mage might take a while to get this. I could always try Summoner. I've never used Summoner before. It's a DPS class. Maybe it's more fun, but maybe it's also more annoying. I don't know, really, to be honest. That is yet unknown. Okay, there we go. Next. Oh, that is, okay. Large, unsightly buffalo. Again, I hope that's the scientific name, because that would be funny. Oh, let's get away from that, I suppose. But yeah, if anything, I look forward to seeing, like, if they've made any other changes to the dungeon and trials and stuff in Realm Reborn. I hope they've added, like, more indicators and stuff. I especially want to see if they've added one that, like, Notorious Tankbuster and Shiva. Or at least it's Notorious for me. Notoriously unclear. Hopefully it's better now. I would be really happy if so, honestly. Truly. Oh. Uh, no, it's, it's over here. It's over here. This ain't what I'm here for, but it's what I'm doing, I guess. I think it is going to give me, like, level 34, probably. Just because, like, I have such a big EXP boost and all that. Also, there's, like, a funny chain bonus is it, that gives you more EXP for killing monsters. But, like, unless you're playing Blue Mage, monster kills are, like, such an incredibly, insignificantly small part of your EXP that it doesn't matter. It sucks. I wish it, like, affected, I don't know, material drop rate or something. Not like it largely drops from monsters don't matter that much either. But there are a few cases where like you get materials that like you could um you could harvest and stuff, I think. Actually no, that's not the case, but you you do get some stuff for like alchemy. Various recipes need like monster drops for that, actually. It's like leather for tailoring. Yeah, I'm thinking of that stuff actually. All that stuff is actually important. But there's just as much and actually like way more useless junk that does nothing at all in this game. That's drops. Which is a shame, but oh well. Can't expect it all do stuff. Music's getting really climactic there. Okay. 
please. Someone stop me this time. I take leaves by mistake. <laughs> it's good to have this unlocked, of course, but it's kind of, I'm, I'm kind of, I had an agenda, you know, I had an agenda I was trying to fulfill here. Oh, that gave me jack shit, actually. Eh, whatever. It gave me a bit. Okay, anyway. Go over and talk to... I, I don't know, whoever this is, I guess. Mm. The identity is also yet unknown. I never did play the second World Ends With You game. Or the remake of the first one, but I hear... Like, it's kinda... Eh. Because you don't have two screens anymore. Cool game, though. Like, I love the original one. Uh, I think I had presented it. I did, like, all the bosses and stuff. I did the super boss. Incredibly fun. I never have gone back and replayed it either. But definitely, absolutely great game for the DS. If you're looking for, like, a list of DS games, you should definitely pick up and play. If you're going to get a DS and some DS games, World Ends With You is on the list. Absolutely. World Ends With You, Medios, Super Mario 64 DS, uh, Battle Arc 5, Double Team DS, ZX, Advent to ZX as well. Uh, I, I don't I don't know what else. I'm sure there's plenty of others. Metroid Prime Pinball? No, I'm just kidding on that one. Oh, oh god. Oh. Don't, don't fall. Don't fall now. I feel like there's a lot of other good games, but like, those are some of the ones that definitely immediately come to mind. Oh. Oh. Duh. Um. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow and Project Ruin. And I guess if you really want Order of Ecclesia, but I, I'm a bit less positive about Order of Ecclesia. I never really cared much for it. I didn't actually uh, finish it, but I watched a friend like play through it a year or so ago. And I got a ways into it at least. But it's it's kind of like more linear. I didn't really like it much, honestly. But the other two for the DS, awesome games. Dawn of Sorrow is my personal favorite out of all Castlevania games, even above Symphony of the Night, like, by far. Symphony of the Night's cool and all, but it's also really weird. I feel like it, it, it holds up, yeah, okay, but there's, like, some weird shit in there that just doesn't really work as well nowadays. I don't know. It's actually kind of hard to tell where you're even supposed to go at the start of the game. you like, uh, you can accidentally, like, waste a lot of time. Like, it's boring to find a ton of dead ends before you find, like, the one place the game lets you go. Which I think is like up to the chapel area or whatever. Uh, it's got weird stuff for like the, the stinky poop cloud is like overpowered against a bunch of bosses in the second half of the game. It's kind of strange. Why are there so many parts to this quest by the way? Actually no, there really aren't. I wasted like 10 minutes doing a leaf quest that I didn't need to. That's actually the part that took up most of the time here, isn't it? Whoops. Oh, cool. Give me that. <laughs> no reason why not. Um, let's see. Oh. It's the exact same thing. Okay. No, never mind. You can keep that. No point, like, putting material onto stuff until I'm probably, like, level 50 or higher as well, by the way. It's kind of a waste. Unless you're doing um, crafting or gathering, materia helps out a lot for those. It is huge. You you really, really want materia for those. But honestly, for like combat, unless you're doing really like high-end stuff for like at least it streams, it doesn't matter really. Like it's going to make such a small difference, especially because there's other people in the fight with you. You know, regardless of whether or not they have materia or not, like there's only so much of a threshold that they can really, really like put there for like making sure that your gear is decent and they actually require that you hit a certain item level or higher too and in stormblood i believe it was i actually like wasn't high enough for that and i had to like go get some better gear which is which is fine so like the, the system did its job there did i just go to the water because i'm i'm looking on that map there and it looks like that's just out in the water also why do you take fall damage when you hit the water well i guess in real life you do too okay no it's just Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I'm just blind. Weird. Um, wait. Hold on. Wait, tell me I can't get on these boats and jump up? I gotta go all the way over here. At least there's stairs, I guess, but 
Still, like, really. Oh, well. And you can't even say, like, um... Oh, they don't have water physics because there's an entire-ass underwater area in Stormblood. It's kind of cool. There's, like, turtle people down there. I think you can... I don't know if you can fight stuff underwater or not, though, actually. I honestly don't remember. I know Guild Wars 2 had that. I had, like, fallen underwater combat in underwater areas. It's been a long time since I played that game. I think I'm still going, by the way. Actually, we don't know. I only played, like, a few MMOs for a long period of time. I did basically finish Guild Wars 2 with some friends back in the day. And I've also played, um, Terra before. Terra? Great game. There's nothing wrong with playing a girl in MMOs. And in Terra, like, I believe all the classes are, like, gender-locked anyway. So, with at least half the classes, like... You're gonna have to play as a girl. So, better just make the most of it, honestly. Make them into a cute Toho character. I, uh, I made my character into Sega back in, uh, Terra. It's like, uh, blue hair, blue clothes, and stuff. Just playing, a uh, Sorceress. Good times, honestly. Really, really good times. I missed that game a lot. But alas, it is dead. How long is this going to take? I guess a while. Apparently a while. Hope there's no real, like, easy to hit and lose condition. It's supposed to be said to, like, don't stand in that thing, so I'm not standing in the thing, but I see one of my allies is standing in the thing. Uh, but I can't get him out of there, so maybe just don't be stupid. I don't know. Not my fault. Hopefully I don't lose if they die. So I'm not keeping on their health over there. I say as I check their health over there. It's fine. And I don't think it's a problem if someone's told past Carbuncle dies, because I don't think that's real death. I think they're like fairies. I think they just respawn. More like you just resummon them. Really. Okay, please be the last ones. Okay, it might be that there isn't like, um... The quest to actually become the next thing, because this this certainly took a while. This was a very involved, like, go deliver 10 objects, go into, like, a couple instance things, fight several small boss fight things here. Who knows? I actually don't really know, honestly. Find out, I guess. I, I hope uh, Force or Kyla does not matter. You can just continue healing yourself over there. I mean, I'm doing great damage to this guy. I'm just gonna pop him. I'm just gonna keep bursting him. I don't care. He's already halfway dead. I'm feeling pretty good about this, honestly. Yeah, why not? We'll shield myself, though, just to be safe. Safe is good. Safety first. Not safety last. Go. Oh, piss carbuncle. I mean, like, he's probably the strongest guy in here. He's gonna do the most damage. He's gonna keep making me reposition because of his big AoEs. So, I'm gonna just kill him first. Okay. I, I like being, a uh, what's, what's the word, um... Like, purposefully annoying. Um... I, I can't remember the English word. I don't even remember it in Japanese, honestly. It's not quite rebellious. I, I don't, I don't remember. Is it a, is, is, is pedantic what I'm thinking of? Pedantic. It, it might be pedantic. Not sure. By the way, I don't think this guy was an Arcanist. I, I'm still not sure why we're here. I wouldn't mind like a five sentence summary, but again, I'm not begging for the backstory here really. Alright, good. Okay, so... That's why, um, it's not enough just to flick the switch to, um, fix it when it gets static, you know, I have to unplug it. So, I figured that out at least. I guess that's nice, huh? I just have to actually fix the issue. So like I said, I gotta, like, 
Just now and stuff. Takes a, takes a while for the issue to crop up. And it could be like related to OBS or something, but it doesn't really make sense. I don't know. Here, you may have it. I definitely didn't lose it. I definitely didn't drop in the mud. It's yours now. I just want that. Yeah. Alright. So, where do I go to... Um... Hold on. I might have to just go look it up. Um... Uh, I don't know where Scholar is. Let me look. In Scholar. Where do I get this? Okay. Um. It's like a shield healer, I see. Uh, so I go to... Okay, hold on. It's someone in this guild, it says. Mm. Oh, okay. They're they're in the upper decks. Wait, no, no, no. It says Dr. Miri in the Arcanist Guild. So you. Okay. Well, I did the sinking Doze Maga quest. It says off of Sylph Management. Okay, I have to do Sylph Management. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Okay, can I do this now, or do I need to be further in the main scenario? Um, it's in the Waking Sands. Um... Okay, no, I think I have to do this later. I don't think I'm allowed to switch yet. Hold on. Let me take a look here. Um, main scenario quest. This is when I do the self stuff later. I'm just looking at the wiki real quick here. Um, what do you need for now? Okay, yeah, I have to wait a bit. I can't even do this. Yeah, that sucks. I'm still like 10 quests off. Okay. Oh, then, damn. You know, the sad thing is, um, the only other, like, exciting thing before then is Ifrit. But it, I think a lot of the other quests are just go somewhere and talk to people quests, so they'll be pretty quick, I guess. Alright, well, that sucks, but it will. Okay. Duty Finder it is. Um, let me see here. Let me, like, go over the week here. Chocobo. When can I get my Chocobo? Chocobo. Uh, company Chocobo. Okay, okay, so it's gonna be soon. It's gonna be very soon after e free. I'm gonna have to go see the grand companies and join one, then I can do it. Then it gives me a quest for it. Okay, cool, alright. The transportation, uh, mounts and stuff. Can I do anything else to go get him out? No, the first one is the company Chocobo. And you can't even use them until you unlock it. So even if you buy a car off of the cash shop, you can't use it until you're able to ride a Chocobo. You have to get your Chocobo license. I'm not kidding. I'm dead serious. Okay. Got it, got it. Um, well, that's gonna really go do in the meantime, honestly. Um, there's not too much. I have, like, all the warp, too. Uh, I guess, sure, why not? A little gold saucer or something. Or I could just go get, like, some of the warps in Olda as well. You know, Olda from Hey Arnold. <sighs> okay. Let's see, I don't think I have any of the, like, convenient warps here. I guess I'll start just taking them off, then. Let's go get this one over here first. <clears throat> it's busy work, but it's an MMO, so what do you expect? At least the boss fights are cool. I actually do one more thing to check over on Discord real quick here. Just some friends trying to make plans. I'll, I'll play for a little while longer. 
but not too long actually. Uh, yeah, I gotta wait till five to do the one. Yeah, it's fine actually. Oh, I have already unlocked this one. Oh damn, I'm a fool. <clears throat> I wanted to stream longer today. I'll I'll go on for another half an hour. There we go. Okay. Yep, another 30 minutes. Then I'll go play Smash with some friends for a while. Then I'll go out and mow the lawn. That's my schedule for today. I've done my work for the day. I want to maybe do some more later. Um, but I've done like my, my translating for the day. Like I said earlier, I'm setting like goals, like little mini deadlines for myself for sections of Labyrinth of Poetry. And I've been doing really well so far and meeting them consistently. Which is good. Um, I really need like to crack down on myself more. I'm very full aware at this point that, like, having other people set goals or have expectations of me helps. <clears throat> Unfortunately, when I'm left to my own devices, I can sometimes suck off a lot. No one wants that of me, and I especially don't want that of me. Surprise, this is taking... Wait, why, why is the, the time for E3 12 minutes? God. And you can't even go into this with, like, um, uh, NPCs or anything. And I'm on an active server right now. I'm on, I'm on Guru Mesh. Weird. Oh, damn. Uh, that that kind of sucks. Gonna be a bit then. Alright. So be it then. So be it. Uh, what's it saying? Right. So at the very least, if I don't have, like, other people, like, Deb is being expected of me. I can at least set, like, goals for myself, and uh, essentially what I'm doing is, like, I'm putting them in the progress sheet that I have that I made to track uh, Tri's translation progress, and I shared it with 3 Peso. So, he can see those deadlines, and I let him know that I'm adding them in there. He's like, cool, I look forward to seeing them. So, in that sense, we've kind of, like, made a little expectation that I'll try my best to keep to those, which I think is good for me. I think it is. Been working wonders so far, at the very least. Yeah, most of the stuff in all is that actually like over on the right side here. Um, the, the stuff over to the left is like the Black Mages Guild, and the like place with the with the princess or whatever, which is just a lot of space for like not actually much stuff naturally. Blue mages are like, I think over here around here or something somewhere, but I don't think I can do that until later. Probably as soon as I've like hit thirty and. Unlock the whole job thing from the Sylph quest. Uh. I do want to be a goldsmith. Umineko no Nakokoroni? Goldsmith? Ushiro no Kinzo himself? Hell yes. Goldsmith is a jeweler, basically. Yeah, it's cool. Again, I do like that kind of thing. I'm going the wrong way, by the way. No, I'm not. I'm not all to go in there. Um, Hold on, I, I'm confused. Oh, no, hold on. Okay. Oh, right, okay, that's the Alchemist Guild. I thought that was the Princess Place for a second. Now, Princess Place is like... I guess it is on this side of the map. It's like one of these dumb places around here. Hey, look, it's that Fall Guys person again. One of these days, I'll have to look what, like, uh, where to go for the Fall Guys stuff before they take it away again. I think it's just, like, funny obstacle courses and... Well, it'd be cool if there were, like, a trial against a giant. Fall Guys Bean, but I don't think there is. They have that kind of stuff for, like, near, And I don't know if they had, like, Yokai Watch Raids. I don't know. But probably not so much for Fall Guys. I don't think it needs, um, a boss fight. Fall Guys is a weird game. I played it a bit when it first came out. Um, but there were, like, some major issues with it back then. Like, well... I think one of the big complaints was it was hard to tell who you were playing with. Like, it was hard to, like, tell who your friends were. I like an issue early on with, like, Steam names not displaying right or people, like, abusing them and doing something weird with them. I can't quite recall. So they had to make it so, like, the name showed up as, like, your Steam ID, like, just a number. I don't really recall why exactly. So, like, if you're in a lobby with your friends, you're like, okay, uh, I'm the blue bean with the, the hot dog suit or whatever. You know, because, like, it's it's nice to, you know, see how your friends are doing and, like, spectate them, like, if you make it first or something. Or if you got knocked out. 
And it was a pain to do that. And I think they did fix that eventually, but I don't know. And uh, another big issue was cheaters. Um, there were obviously some really evident cheaters, like the people to like warp around and stuff. But there were some that tried to be sneaky. I made it to the very, very last round once. And I had three friends watching, so everyone witnessed this. I wish I'd been recording it, frankly. Because it was so, so blatant. It was like the most frustrating thing. Um, there was like, just, it, it's like a straight run up like a fairly simple obstacle course. Like whoever gets to the end and touches the ground first wins. And this motherfucker like increased his movement speed by like 5%, 10% or something. He was, he was clearly faster, but not so far that like he was like zooming. But... If you were behind him, you could tell because you could not gain on him. He would be steadily increasing the distance between both of you and there was nothing you could do. It doesn't matter how well you do, how many things you dodge. Unless he fucks up, he wins. It was really stupid. I, I hope that they've like addressed the cheating problem. I have no idea. Um, I basically stopped playing after season one. Uh, it pissed me off that it was a seasonal game at all. And that instead of just adding to the games, they like keep rotating them out and getting rid of the old ones and putting in new ones. Why? If they just kept adding to it and like maybe let you uh queue for like uh, maybe they've added this by now, but like a separate queue that doesn't have the shitty team games that everybody hates. Like the soccer ball ones. Oh god, all those are atrocious. And the last thing I want to do in a game like that is like lose because of my team, like most of the games in it are like, you know, if you make it to the end quick enough, like you qualify or whatever. You can still eliminate a ton of people like that. You don't need team games for it. It just sucks. It's it's awful. Hey, it's Ifrit. He's ready for us. He was warming up. Haha. <laughs> but no. The, the, the game itself was really fun. Cool concept. Uh, just shit execution. Shit execution. Keep adding to it. Don't make it a fucking season pass game. <clears throat> Corporate shit these days. I hate it. I hate it. Alright. Wow, here we go. Incredible. It's time to free Ifri. His music isn't very interesting, unfortunately. Now, I'm the only healer here, so I actually need to heal for once. I will probably primarily focus on healing this time. As I should, now that I'm in, in actual duty. Oh. Okay. It's fine. I mean, like, on occasion, in raids and trials and stuff, there's, like, guaranteed damage that, like, everyone takes. You can't always dodge damage. It's actually just part of how the game is designed. For better or for worse there. In that case, I guess if you're close enough, you get hit, but it's not much damage anyway, so it really cares. It's okay. He'll have some gimmicky stuff coming up soon, unless he doesn't do it in normal. He is kind of half dead, and he doesn't heal, I don't think. But he does, like, go invincible, and you have to kill the nail, otherwise he just insta-kills everyone. It's a, it's a good old funny haha -ha he does. There's more nails and higher difficulties, but... Yeah, so... It's right here, uh, this... When he goes up in the sky and, like, does this... Uh, if you don't kill the nails, everyone just dies. It's just an insta-kill then. But it's okay, because... Uh... You know, we're, we're, we're able to play the game, I guess. Uh, we, we, we have hands. As long as you can infer that you have to kill the nail, which is maybe... I don't know, you may, maybe you'd think it's like just something that's going to do like an optional attack, but I guess you'll learn for that kind of thing. Dodging these is probably the most fun part. Again, normal mode fights are nothing interesting. Like hard and extreme stuff is where it gets kind of cool. Especially the extremes, but they're kind of sometimes a grind. Uh, oh, oh. Thanks for the shield wall. Oh, no one wants commendations. Alright, bye. Sure. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Uh, hold on a second, I'm gonna check something. Am I able to extract material from my stuff yet? Uh, no. I can't, I have to get that later. Uh, this, like, white thing here is, like, 
I filled up this like uh, soul binding bar kind of thingy on it. And I can take materia out of it, which is cool to do because I know you can use it or sell it off for a little bit. It's nice. It's fun to do. But I think I need to like earn the ability to do that. And I think I, I actually do know where I could go for that. I should have done it when I was like there earlier. It's like the little goblin guy who gave me the thing that I had to bring to the Waking Sands. And hey, guess where I'm going next? The Waking Sands. So I can go do Omir actually. I think I just talk to him and do a little tiny quest for him and he gives me the ability to do it. Let's find him. Yeah, so a quarter after three, so I got about 20 more minutes. Alright. Got it. Um, yeah. Let me go over here first and pop over this way. Irene Evie chan Uh, how totes adorbs. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get too far in the quest today. Um, but let's see, I think tomorrow I have Umineko and more Final Fantasy queued up, so maybe I can stream for a bit longer tomorrow. I just had um, a lot of stuff going on today. Well, I, I say a lot of stuff. All I really have extra is mowing the lawn. This is the wrong place, by the way. Um, is it? A different map it might be a different map yeah hold on um it's here there it is there it is it's kind of like a similar like little grotto up in the northeast quarter i always get these places confused this is far from the first time i've come over here to the entrance to tom tar deep croft <laughs> oops and it's probably far from the last let's be real Okay, again, I can afford to teleport around. Just, just a few times, you know. I, I think my, my budget can probably handle it now, you know. As long as I don't have to pay in adventures, because I only got one of those. It's fine, you get those from doing leaves, so that's why. Uh, adventures are, like, things that you can use once you've hired a retainer. Um, you can, like, send them out and have them do things for you, like, gather resources, or gather resources, basically. I think it's just those things, basically. Got a couple quick things I can do here. These are like important locks, so you should do them. You're kind of a fool if you don't, honestly. All the stuff here is like really critical to just playing the game. Unless you want to buy materials from other people all the time, I guess, which, eh, you can if you want, I suppose. Yep, okay, now I can just do it. Thank you. Don't need any more tutorial than that. I already know how it works. It doesn't, I'm um, like get rid of the item or anything either, it's nice, you just get the materia. So, like, over here you like a little, little white circle because, annoyingly enough, you have to hover it here if you want to see it. So, like, you use the other UI instead of this one because, I don't know, they decided there wasn't room for another bar here, even though there clearly is. Good. And this game's kind of weird, like, it's almost a bit weird, like, with Terra, like, the lower materia, a lot of it's actually worth more than the higher end stuff. Because I guess a lot of the higher end stuff, like, you can get really cheap, like, NPC vendors later on in the game, but the lower tier stuff, you can't. And some of it, especially the crafting stuff, sells, like, for a few thousand gills sometimes. Because people want to make their, um, their, um, like, crafting and gathering quests. Uh, they want to make those grinds a bit less painful. So they want better materia. Because you have to, like, hit certain thresholds, essentially. And sometimes you need, like, the material to get, like, that extra boost that you need to get over it. I would say often, in fact, actually. So, that's why the cheaper material can actually... Well, not cheaper. Lower level stuff can be surprisingly valuable. I'm not talking, like, super duper valuable, but... You can make a, you can make a bit of side money off of it. And mind you, I've never really made that much money in this game. I think last time I played, I only made, like, a few hundred thousand... That was with, like, trying to actually, like, learn the market stuff a little bit, so. I like market stuff in MMOs a lot. I think it's really cool. But I've never been that good at it, really. The most I've really did, I guess, was, um, I used to play an MMO called Trove. I don't even know if you'd really call it an MMO. Uh, it's, it's like a Vatsal-based kind of thing. It's almost like Minecraft or something, but, uh, third person. It's got, like, MMO-ish characters, kind of. Very grindy. 
has a lot of cash up stuff unfortunately um so it's, it's got some downsides to the game but uh, fundamentally it's really fun actually you don't mind just turning your brain off for a while and the market in there was kind of fun to mess with actually it wasn't that difficult to just like buy stuff for cheap and flip it for for hire typically like okay it's like okay you could buy ten thousand of like this ore uh for like maybe one per unit and like you could sell it in like stacks of a hundred um because that's how the, the market works it's like stack based it's like individual stacks of stuff you could sell it at like a higher unit price and like maybe someone will come along who like oh like shit i only need a hundred of this for what i need right now i don't need ten thousand i don't want to sell it that much money so i'll buy like a smaller amount for a higher unit price because i may not have enough money to buy at a cheaper rate or I may not want to use that money right now, you know? So you, you could do a lot of that in the game and make some pretty good profits. Sometimes with some stuff, you could even buy like a stack of 100 and sell in stacks of 10 and make a, a decent-ish profit. It was fun. I liked that a lot in MMOs. And another good example, um, not quite an MMO, not quite a market technically. But uh, sadly, I don't think you can do it anymore. You won't be able to soon. Pokemon trading card game online. That game's trade market was really cool because you could start out. Uh, so like battling NPCs and stuff doesn't get you real packs. Like it gets you, well, it does, it, but they're, everything's not tradable. You have to like use the trade market or put real money into the game to get anything tradable. But there, there is like a shopping game and you can buy some stuff there with like the in-game free currency. What you can do is there's like, um, God, what is it? It's like a Pikachu coin or like a Pikachu deck box or something like that. I forget what it is. There, there's a couple things like that. That's knocking things over out there. Um, hold on. I gotta see where I'm going. I'm already in the waking stands. Did I? Oh, no. Uh, I think Tothar is outside. But you, you can trade that for like a shitty card, essentially. Basically, what you can do is you can like paperclip house this game and you can start trading like stuff up for better stuff consistently in this game um there were sites with like values for cards and stuff and like you could trade up like let's say a, a pokemon gx card that was worth like i don't know what this site's units were it's like just two oh yeah it used like whatever like the most recent pack was so like let's say you've got a gx card that's worth two packs you could trade it up with a little bit of patience, not even that much, probably an hour or less, maybe a few hours, depending. But like something that's worth like 2.5 packs and whatnot, you know? And there's like a lot of different things at 2.5 packs. So you could get like a bunch of each of those cards and be like trading all of them up at all times. And eventually like you could convert these cards into packs and whatnot. And it was really fun to just do, honestly. Uh, okay, this, this is another annoying thing. I might as well do the one over here first, I guess. I guess someone died. I have to go honor them by pressing F in a cutscene. I don't know. Uh, okay. Here. Do over with. This will probably be one of the last things I have time for because this is like, I have to go to all three of the major towns, unfortunately. And after this, I think it's the Grand Company thing. And then it's unlocking job things pretty soon after that, I believe. I can just work. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. I had like a good stock of like all of the like reasonably uh, quote unquote priced. Again, like pack prices, not real money here. Um, GX cards in that game, like anything that wasn't like above like eight or 10 or so. I had like a full set of like four or 10 of those cards that I could just like use as like bargaining chips and trades. It was really cool. But they're getting rid of Pokemon trading card game online. They're replacing it with a shittier one with no player trading and you know why so they can sell more of their own cards it was like hey wh why are we letting players you know trade the stuff that they like earn in the game when we could sell it to them instead we, we could just not let them do that we could just make the game worse dickheads the whole lot of them they ruined like honestly the most fun part of the experience for me yes playing the card game itself was fun as well obviously Otherwise, you know, well, why am I there at all? But I thought that the trading was like a really nice like thing to have at the same time. Granted, 
the game needed some updates. The um, like avatar system looked awful. The UI was garbage. The game was surprisingly like poor performing for what it was, if I remember right. So yeah, it needed a new client for sure. I'm I'm agreeing there, hard agree. That game was terrible. But I would have liked if they kept the, kept the trading and stuff. And I think they were gonna make it so like you could carry over your accounts or like, like some of your stuff. But at the same time, I think the new game it didn't have all the cards. The old game had every single card, all the old sets and stuff, promos and everything. I believe what they're doing with the new game is like it cuts off at a certain point so like you, you can keep your new stuff or at least part of it i think only up to four copies of each card but anything past like a certain like cutoff point like too old it just goes into the ether it's just gone which sucks you know like some people probably spent real money on like those packs in game and now they just lose that stuff or they spent time trading or whatnot or they won the in-game tournaments and got tradable packs Trade those, open them, whatever they wanted, you know, any of these various methods, and it's all gone. Kaput. That's terrible. I uh, actually asked on Twitter a while ago, and I don't think I could find anything. I wanted to know, like, are there any other, like, online trading card games that have, like, a free trading market, like Pokemon MMO, uh, sorry, Pokemon Trading Card Game Online did. I don't think there are any. I just don't think there are any. Uh, if there are, I'd really, really like to know about them, because I like that kind of thing. I like card games. Especially ones I can play, like, in a computer client that handles the stuff for me. Um, a long, long time ago, I think it was like 2013 or something. I got one of the, uh, the co-op magic games. Well, I said co-op. Um, you could do, like, two-headed dragon. You do, like, 2v2 mode. And I played magic with friends. That that was amazing fun. Awesome. Uh, let's see, where am I... Going there. Hold on. Wait, I need to. This. I have to go to Limsa. Oops. Literally a wrong continent. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'll have a bit more time to play than expected because someone has to go walk a dog. Got a friend who's got three jobs and he's looking to get a fourth. He's got a job walking dogs, he's got a programming job, and he also does his girlfriend's programming job, too. Uh, she apparently just doesn't really do anything. Uh, not the best deal there. Whatever. We, we've already criticized him on it, and he seems happy, I guess, so sure. If he really wants to overwork himself like that, feel free. His dog walking thing can get in the way of things sometimes, but it's whatever. With how, like, how little money I'm making, I guess I can't really complain. I've been looking into some stuff online recently, actually, to, like, make a bit of money on the side. That I'm, like, in a good swing with, like, my translation stuff. Um, I'm sure I could slide in a little bit more time for, like, some other work. But it's really hard searching for work online with standards. I'm talking like either payment standards, you know, like the actual wages, or like the standards of what I'm doing. So like I've been checking like some Japanese sites first, um, maybe see if I could find any translation work. Almost all of the, the listings in like the Japanese to English translation categories, you know what they are? You might think, oh, like phone games or like things like that. There, there are some of those. Those are few and far between, and those are what I'd maybe consider doing if they pop up again. Most of them are, we want drop shippers for our eBay accounts in the US. We want you to, like, take packages and ship them out. A, that isn't really translating, and B, I don't really want to do that, you know? Uh, I don't think eBay even likes it when you drop ship. Um, so, probably don't do that. So I haven't found any work there. I've got a couple things open I haven't looked at, at like some other sites. Um, I'm I'm on Lancers right now, I think, which might have some better stuff. Bradworks is full of like trash like that. Um, but I haven't actually applied for anything yet. I still need to fill out my info on Lancers. I made the account like two days ago. I was going to copy and paste all my stuff off Bradworks into there. 
my quote unquote resume full of Toho fan games. <laughs> yes, we, we want the guy who translated uh, Shady Trial, Oyashi Monogatari. We want him to translate our corporate documents. I'm not taking that kind of translation job though. In the end, I might even do stuff that's not translating, like data entry or whatever. I don't really know. It's just something that doesn't take too much time. Something I can do in whatever time I want, as long as it's done by like the end of the week or whatever, you know? Something I can just kind of chip away at and do, finish. That doesn't require like any really new, like new skills, probably. Data entry is simple. Anyone can do data entry. Yeah, maybe something like that. I don't know. There are jobs like that up there after all. A bit of menial labor on the side or something. It's just what I'm looking at. Second, sorry. Okay. Uh, right, I have to talk to. Oh, not not all these guys. I just have to pick one. I'll, I'll just go with Limsa because I'm in Limsa. I assume it's the blue person. Let's see. I mean, it'd be nice if he told me, like, outside of the cutscene, which one belongs to which area. I know that one's Gridania. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. I'm just gonna Google it. Man, it's it's guys. It's it's obviously Maelstrom. Sure. Okay. I'll join Maelstrom then. Sure. Whatever. Oh yeah, I said there too. So you you can say yes and look at that, I guess. But that's that's still a little bit shite. Okay. Anosha, goodbye, waking sands. I'll be back later. I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. We got 30 minutes from now. Got another 30 minutes. Cool. Glad to hear it. Okay. Oh, this way. They require that you join one of these. So yeah, grand companies and free companies are different things. The grand companies like this thing. Free companies are player guilds. Um, upper decks. I don't even know where this one is. Uh no, it's 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 on the No, okay, it is on open the Okay, we're to the aft castle. The aft castle? Alright. It's right next to the. This is the only one I've never been part of because I've never started a game in Limsa before. I still don't really like Limsa much. Wait, what's, what's that suit? Tonberry, maybe? Looking like a frog suit and like pig suit and stuff in this game. Maybe that's like a golden tonberry. I can't really tell honestly what that is. That's my only vague guess. Oh. Thought I saw Rinosuke. It's a Yunosuke. Not to boss arm. God, it's just it's just one of them. I kinda wanna get the Falk, I think. I wonder if you can buy them off the market. Or if they're like um limited to like you have to go earn them from the event. I'm gonna look. I don't do the event anyway, eventually, maybe, but... Let's see. Pink bean. Or any bean, really. Yeah, I can search. Bean. Damn. No? No? Okay. Is it pink? Pink shrimp. Oh, hey, hold on. Isn't this for, um... Is this not, um... Are these key things for mounts? Hold on. Yeah, you couldn't get mounts. Hold on. I guess... I, I don't know. Whatever. I, I, I don't care right now. I can't use mounts yet anyway. I'll get a pink bean later, maybe. Baby gremlins. Very, very suspiciously similar to the, the movie. Just, just, just a little bit, possibly. Let's go work from over here, then. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 
Uh, let me um, go pee real quick and get a drink. One moment. Plug and plug it. It is a mystery. Uh, so grand line. Oh, I want my tea. My auto runner. That sounded so out of place. I thought there was a player playing that. That sounds terrible. Strange. I was uh, told I had to join. Uh -huh. And I'm not allowed to skip this oddly enough. Uh, please just, just hurry. I'm only here because I have to be. Though it is kind of fun, like, grinding up the company currency and using it for stuff. Or just grinding it up for fun and not even using it for stuff. I think there's some stuff that you can get, get with it that's kind of handy. Uh, sure. Do it here. Could be a long run. Isn't it always, honestly? Isn't it always? Also, while I'm thinking about it, I think I'll change the setting after all. So it... Yeah, so it can keep playing BGM because it's... It feels weird every time I click out or something. And sadly, like, the FPS still lags if I do that. So you'll still notice, but sometimes I have to click out for stuff and deal with it. Uh, but at least the music keeps going now. It's a bit less abrupt. Eh? <sighs> I never did decide exactly what I'm playing for all of next week. Um, so yeah, the, the weekend I think was booked, right? Yeah, Animal Well and launch show probably um unless no i don't know maybe i shouldn't try two games in one week especially if i'm still working on two different redeem games I, I i have to do final fantasy at least like two days next week so i'll do that as the second game on tuesday and Thursday. let me just note this down Yeah, okay, that, that mostly settles it. I just gotta figure out. Oh, geez, I guess I'll have to do Umineko on Thursday, so I do Umineko too. Okay. I've got a rough schedule laid out now for all four days. Cool. I almost wish I had more days, but uh, as much as I could stream more, 
I, I think I need to be putting my time into other things like uh, my translation work. You know, if I stream six hours every day of the week, that's a lot of hours. And yeah, granted, I'm not going to translate six hours a day anyway, typically. Extremely rarely. But still, um, a lot of stuff like adjacent to my translation work comes up. Like, again, like I mentioned, I'm like middle manning for some people for commissions now and again. I'm doing that right now for a friend. Um, I might need to like make a sheet or something for like bug reporting or like translate some bug reports into Japanese. Like, for one of the games I'm helping with. Stuff like that. That's very much part of my work, but not directly just translating Japanese to English. And that can take hours, potentially. So, if I stream every day, and do stuff with one or two of my different friend groups every day, and have to maybe um, spend one to three hours on that stuff, depending, it can be hard to find time for actual translating. And with projects as big as Labyrinth of Toho Try, um, I, I really need to be working on them most days, so... And now that I've got, like, my little mini deadlines planned out, I'm kind of rationing things out a bit more healthily, maybe. Well, healthily employees it was unhealthy before, like, I was pushing myself too hard, but it's more like I wasn't pushing myself at all. And I, I want to, like, drag myself along a little bit, even if it's by my car, you know. And sharp gravel. I, I gotta do it. I do love what I'm doing, but... As always, some days it can be hard to really do things at all. I think generally I'm getting to a better spot. Sometimes I just like zooming in and looking at these things. I feel like those models are probably a higher res than they used to be too. They, they look pretty good. Like when you, when you zoom in this far, I guess like you can start to see like texture stuff, but because it's feathers, it doesn't really look that strange, honestly. So I wonder if, like, when they discontinued PS4, they, like, upgraded the graphics on PC or something as well. Oh, no, the PS3, PS3. I mean, they discontinued, like, the continued support for it. I don't know. I don't really know how they do things. TBH. Uh, we're going up to Eastern Lenosha, right? Cedarwood. I, uh, no. Oh, it's, it's on this map. Okay, I'm already there. Too bad there's no warp here, otherwise we could have saved a bit of time. But nope. These people have been living here for how long? I got the farms and stuff set up, but they haven't thought to put a materia crystal or... Etherite. E e e Etherite crystal. There. God. Not the same thing at all. Nope. If it were me, I'd have those things, like, all over the place. I can know what's stopping them from like just setting up like one of the miniature ones and like attuning it to the big one there. It's close, right? I, know. I wish I could just like get the right crystal out to the convenience store in town and like come back home after. Like you using using return would be nice. But nope. Oh, you don't need this on your hotbar by the way. It's it's pointless. Because you just use it via the map. I'm just gonna get rid of that. It is literally just pointless unless you want to like open up a list instead. It, it can be useful for that, I guess. I need to right now. I don't need to go into that. I'm just going to do a little fight over here or something. And then I'll be an important member of the DK crew. Oh, hey, a hunt. Now you're actually like, hey, no, no, I'm not ready yet. I'm doing my hunt first. Do not change my mind here. I uh, know, it's not like Animal Crossing, you just become the mayor, you actually like have to rank up. Which is good. But then it gets to the point where like, you need to start- No, I- I, oh, I don't want to hit those. You need to start like, doing dungeons. With NPCs that they give you, and like leveling up the NPCs, or having them like, run the dungeons themselves and stuff, and it's- It's a pain in the ass. Because at one point, like, you're not able to promote further until you do that. And then it's like, okay, well, like, for this tier of, like, global dungeons, you'll need these, like, classes, or, like, these people that are good at this and bad at that. So you're going to, like, fire some of them, hire new ones, and it's all... it It's terrible. I hope they change it. It sucks. I don't mind that there's, like, something else there that you have to do to, um... Um... Rank up. 
but I, I think the current system is just kind of ass, honestly, personally. Everything up until that point, I think it's just doing, like, any of the, like, different, like, gathering or, like, combat or, um, crafting quests that you want just to get the, like, company scripts or whatever they are. Scripts are DOG. I forget what they're called in here, but something or other. They, they might actually still be scripts. I'm not sure. To be honest. New Deep Rock season starts, I think, June 13th, so I look forward to that. I got a little friend group that I like playing with. Deep Rock is awesome. One of the best games I've played in quite a while. Even though it has what could arguably be called fighters. It's shocking that it has, like, a free battle pass system. So cool. More games need to do that. Uh, I wouldn't mind, like, that kind of thing if it were free. It is literally the fact that, like, companies monetize it all the time that makes it shit in my book. I'm just fundamentally against that kind of stuff a lot, that's all. Don't waste money. Like, harder a game or company tries to get my money, the less I want to give it to them. Like, if you make a good game and just sell me the game and don't try to sell me anything else, like, I'll, I'll be happy. I'll be super happy, like... I'll recommend your game to friends. I might buy a copy of it for them if I really want them to play it. You know? But if there's any of that, like, predatory shit, no. It really just tarnishes how I think of your product. I'd rather that you not even think of your product as a product. Think of it as, you know, a game. Leisure activity, something for fun. Where are you going? Or, you know, like a passion project. What is this thing doing? It's a maniac. Out of control. I like that it did target them instead of just me though. I, I appreciate that. It actually acknowledges that these guys exist. Very good. Oh, it's too late to dance. Dang. Bigs. Wedge. So you guys don't matter in this game. Not enough to me, at least. Okay. Back to Limsa. You can actually free teleport every once in a while. See that precious Gil. As a kid, I called it Jill. I remember when I heard that it was supposed to be Gil, but I'm, like, certain nowadays that it's Gil. I don't know if I heard it, like, in a game. Or from a friend. I don't know. No idea. The subject of Final Fantasy, like... I like Final Fantasy, but I don't love it. I've beat very few of the games. A lot of the time, I get near the end. And once I've done a lot of the optional stuff, I get kind of bored of doing, like, the mandatory story stuff. If I were to ever, like, replay a game, or, like, play another Final Fantasy right now, I'd probably try a free company, or whatever it's called, not free enterprise. That Final Fantasy 4 hack would be cool. Um, I don't really want to play any of the PS1 games. Um, I don't really want to play any of the PS2 games. Uh, 5 and 6 are fine, but eh, I'm not a massive fan. I like 4 the most, honestly. Out of these NES games. Mm-hmm, okay. Release me, please. Alright. Um, do I need to do this thing... First, maybe I should get this out of the way now. Oh, I can I can do the chocobo thing now. Oh, good. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Uh. Oh, come oh, come many seals? Okay, hold on. Water master. I'll probably have to get some seals first then. Uh, you said the quartermaster. Oh, is 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 the other quartermaster? Oh yeah, strong quartermaster. Okay. All right. Uh, where is it here? Material. Two hundred. Okay, I need two hundred scripts. They're seals, but I'm gonna call them scripts. All right. Um, let's see. Yep, okay. 
I actually have to do this then to start really doing stuff for them. Wait, I just go there and talk to him and I just get that many? That's cool. Wait, wait, where is that? Oh, it's out there? That's weird. Huh. Isn't the wolf's den like the PvP place? <clears throat> Isn't that where you go to like queue up the PvP stuff? Why why do I have to go there? I don't think I'm wrong on that. I've never done any of that stuff. PvP in this game sounds disastrous. It sounds terrible to me. Uh, you gotta like go out to the end of the dock here, I think, right? And yeah. You take a boat out there, then you can get it registered in your etherites. I have not got out here much. It's just like a little mini area anyway, not like a proper place with anything to fight or collect. Yep, I must apparently, I must. It's okay, don't, no, don't care. I'm just here to talk to someone and click on the either right too. What are the traders here have? I actually have no idea, honestly. I'll take a quick peek. As I feel like this one's taking longer to attune to. Probably just me. Uh, uh no, they're all, like not proper traders. They like trade for stuff that you get from doing PvP, so I don't have any of it. Oh well. Oh, but I do need to go to the building actually. It's not outside like I thought it might have been. What a nice swimsuit. Okay. I did it. I completed my training by taking a boat. Now I have like several times what I need to get the chocobo. Uh, okay, I get it. Stop, stop. I, I, I want to leave. Thank you. Okay. Uh, no, I'm good. That, that, that sounds terrible. Sounds like a horrible time, honestly, so I'll pass. I'm not interested in PvP. Not right now, at least. Probably never. I really think it's the highlight of the game. And I think it's what most people care about, right? Doesn't sound honestly fun at all to me, actually. Maybe they have stuff that spices it up, but I... Even so, I wouldn't really like it, I don't think. It's not for me. No, uh-uh. You know what is a fun MMO that I, I could have played a lot more of, and I bet has kept updating as a okay MMO. Um, it's just like a Pokemon MMO. It's it's really good actually. Uh, right. I think they had stuff up through Gen Four and maybe I don't know if they had Gen Five or not at the time. Not sure if they were working on it or what. I'm mind just starting that game over. Might be cool. Okay. And I'm not allowed to buy these things yet because I'm too low rank. Okay, cool. Um Okay, uh so I guess go back down to the lower decks apparently. Sure. I don't really know where I'm going anymore. <laughs> I'm just following the map or at least trying to. Over to the east, eastward. Ah, I think that's like the uh, the goldsmithing sound or something. I I hate that sound. That that sound is god awful. If I do goldsmithing, I'm gonna mute the sound effects for that probably, like temporarily until I'm done goldsmithing for that time. Because I I don't want to have to hear that a bunch. That, that 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 is ugh. That's terrible. Seriously. All right. Adamantite nugget. Good for them. Chocobo. Um, I don't really want to name my Chocobo. <sighs> Fine. If you absolutely insist. The I roleplay name my chocobo. Oh, his? Oh, shit. You have to have a male chocobo, huh? Oh, well. I guess Misty's a guy now. Sorry. 
Blame Square Enix for Mystia being a guy. Okay, um, let me put that on my hotbar because I'm surprised it doesn't do it for you, actually. Um, um, it's somewhere in here. It's somewhere general. Oh, right, okay, companion. No, 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 not, not companion, sorry. Um, if I can just get in here once. Not bad, what do you mean I... Well, yeah, I know, but uh, I'll do what's hot here. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Let's see, next step is over here. Not much more time, but maybe we can do another busy work thing or two. But um, coming up very soon is the thing that I'll be doing to get the jobs. I don't think it's anything much. It's not like an actual duty, sadly. Okay, let's see, I just have to put it on the mountain guide. I don't know why it's not there, honestly. Um, okay, mount guide. Wait, why can I still not use my mount guide? Eh? Uh, hold on. Am, am I remembering something wrong? It's weird. Oh, no. No, guys, shall greens are just for Sony as a companion. Why can I not? Um, I don't know. Actually, that's 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 weird. Also, yeah, I'm going to the waking sense. I guessed correctly. Um, let me Google this. FF14 can't open a mount guide. Well, Twenty after. Okay. Yep. Uh, I've already done that. Okay, completed chocobo quest. Oh, oh, okay. Oops. Okay, I have to use the chocobo item. All right, there we go. Someone else had this like exact same question. I figured someone would have. Okay. You played the game enough times, like you you forget about this kind of stuff because you take stuff like the mount guide for granted. You know. I think. That's just me, making excuses. Honestly, though, really, isn't it? Okay. Sure. Zero works, I guess. We can go slightly faster now. Let's actually put it faster. Get used to the mount music. I can't actually just turn off the mount music. So it plays regular music. Um. Do it on for now. But I'll probably turn it off by next stream. Let's be real. I think other mounts have their own music though, which is kind of cool. But oh well. We'll get there once we get there. Right, I thought it was telling me I could do my quest real quick, but no, that's that's a different quest entirely there. Of course, you can't use mounts in towns, but this isn't really a town. It's just a little out-of-town sanctuary, so it's allowed. Thank God. Hello. Thanks for the free stuff. All I did was talk to you, but I appreciate. Talk to the hand. All right, what do you want me to do now? Hey, it's the one that gets me the jobs. Yeah, good. <clears throat> no. no. I'm just checking in with Smash Friend Group. The Smashers. But I can at least pop over to Gridania for this. I'm just waiting until they meet their roll call requirements before I stop. Because I don't want to stop and then have to wait another 10 or 20 minutes on someone. People can be unreliable sometimes, you know. I used to be, um, very adamant about, like, if I had plans with friends, like, even if one of them had the chance of being late, I would make sure I was free for, like, the whole time. Um, but nowadays, you know, after getting, like, burned by people taking forever or, like, calling off plans, it's, it's just, like, a thing in this friend group, really, they can be very shaky and unreliable. I'm like, okay, you know what, like, 
I'm I'm not hard committing to this if you guys can't hard commit to it. Because if there's like that distance there and like I care more about it and they don't really care that much, it, it just creates conflict. I get angry about things that they don't care about that much and basically nobody wins. Uh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, is, is it? Oh, okay. I think... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I thought... So, okay. So, how, how do I do the job quest now? Am I... Do, do I just... Okay. I think I can just go accept it now, maybe. says the requirements are that um you have to have done self-management and syncing the list maga so I've, I've done it okay i thought it was actually gonna have to go like over to the self place but i guess not okay sure okay um let me go accept it real quick i guess then sure also skip cutscene as always um Suppose this is in Gridania though, so I'll do this while I'm here first. Might as well. Doesn't really matter where I log up as long as I mean a sanctuary. My sanctuary, my sanctuary, yeah. Up to New Gridania. Where am I going, by the way? I mean, New Gridania, but I'm doing a pretty poor job. Hold on. What? Am I, am I in Old Gridania? Why isn't it? Huh? Okay, I'll hold on though. The map, the map is confused. Oh, uh, no, wait, no, no, okay, hold on, no, I leave Britannia. Wait, no, no, I, I do go up there. Why was I showing me, like, the detailed map, the, the one I'm not in? It's not supposed to. Huh? Yeah, that, that's strange. It was showing me this, it's only supposed to... Whatever. I don't know. Just get me over there. You know, I probably might as well hit up the little mini ether eight points while I'm here too. I'll at least touch a couple of them, I guess. It's gonna send me over to like do the sylph stuff, but I don't have time for that, of course. I'll talk to a person or two. Kasuga. Sasuga Kasuga. You know, I don't think I've ever actually heard anyone say that. Um, maybe if I meet someone named Kasuga some way, someday, I'll do it, but at the same time, I think they would hate me for it, so maybe I won't. That's a terrible thing to say. Not because it's mean, but just because it's corny as heck. It's like saying, as expected of Ted, essentially. Okay, let me just talk to this person here, and then we're gonna log out and end up uh, end for the day. Wrap up. So that I got to play for like an extra half an hour, though. I'm glad. Okay. All right, and yeah, next stuff will be yep up here. Do this like self stuff up here in this weird shaped area. Okay, wrapping up there for the day. I'll be back tomorrow with I believe Uminako and more Final Fantasy. But I gotta head off for the day. Uh, have a good day, thank you for coming, and see you tomorrow.